top of the morning, y'all. I had to bring my wife to the Alkaline Express this morning, you know. We having some breakfast right now. We about to dig in. You guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. All right, peace. What's up, guys? Top of the morning. This morning, I'm actually in my backyard right now. I would like to see the entire grass, the entire backyard. I actually started uh, tilling the soil. What's up, what's up, y'all? So, got the wife out here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we out here. We got some pepper sauce on the way, man. Ken V's Produce Pepper Sauce. Okay. Oh, it's in the bucket. What's up, y'all? So, I'm in my backyard right now, and I actually have one, three garden beds. Got three garden beds of um, peppers that V and I grow this year. Uh, we, most, we mostly only grew peppers um, this is our first year having a backyard, and today we went pepper picking. Uh, you can get a closer look, and you can see all sorts of peppers that we bought, actually bought today. Um, can you get that please? Can you get that? I don't know, my cat is up in the tree trying to... Uh, get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. <laughs> well, this is not possible. Get your ass down, man. Get your ass down. You ain't catching that squirrel. Smile. Smile. Hey man, stop eating my lemongrass. Top of the morning, people. I'm actually gonna go see my niece today, Samara. You wanna say hi? Hi. We're gonna be doing a project today, pretty much a diorama, and we decided to work on a, a rainforest diorama. So, okay, so the stores actually have Hobby Lobby. We're gonna go out there first. Stay tuned. What's up, y'all? So, we out here, got my uh, niece with me today, Samara. You wanna say hi? Hi. What are we doing today? Where are we at? Uh, we're at Barnes and Nobles. We're getting a book for me and then we're going to Michael's. Come for the ride. We out here, Barnes and Noble. V doesn't remember the last time she's been in a bookstore. We out here getting books. Berenstain or Berenstein? You tell me. How is Barnes & Noble? Yeah. We're actually leaving Barnes & Nobles now. Did you guys look before you crossed? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I made sure I did. Alright y'all, so we just came out of Barnes & Nobles. Show them the book that you got, Samara. What yeah. book you got? The Babysitter. You got The Babysitter. And then I got Smile. You got Smile. And I think you got some slime, right? Bro, just show them the slime, man. What kind of slime you get? All right, we're actually gonna head to Hobby Lobby. We're gonna get our materials for our diorama, our rainforest diorama. Stay tuned. Hobby Lobby. I've never heard of this store. You heard about this store? <laughs> We need trees, forest animals, ground cover, container to put in. Cool. This is a big store. Yeah, that's a huge store, man. Here, Hobby Lobby. Hmm. So 
I think we got everything, guys. You ready to check out Samara? Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> do it. Uh, we're heading back home. We're actually gonna get started on Samara's project. Say hi to camera, mister. You remember me? So, Samir, you ready to get started on that project? Yes. All right. <laughs> you want to help? <laughs> so now we know we got the box, right? So tell us the materials that you have. I got a dry foam box. Got some trees for our animals. We got our animals over here. This is, what is this, for our substrate? Yeah, it's gonna go on the ground. Okay. And we also had to get, purchase a spray adhesive. Yep. So what are you doing now, Samara? The project now. Okay. <laughs> I think and that'll be great if, um, yeah, for the bed. A bit louder. Mm -hmm. Because the jungle floor is all a mixture of like different moss, different colors. We're gonna be using a blended turf, light green colors. All right, are you enjoying it so far? All right, all right. So we have our we have our layers we'll now, and then, and then we're good. Now we're gonna add our trees. So we build, we build it right now. Don't mind my, my nephew crying in the background. He's just a little hungry, that's all. I'll get the animals. How's it coming so far? Yeah. And add some more trees there. Top of the morning people, top of the morning. It is now Sunday, I'm up. I think I'm gonna make me some breakfast. The sun is rising. You gotta give thanks to this another beautiful day. Hope everyone is having a beautiful morning for I will have a beautiful morning. Stay tuned, tune in. What's up y'all? So we're out here in the community. We're out in New York, Newark actually, and we are volunteering to clean up the neighborhood. Um, it is our truly right to keep our neighborhood clean and inform others that how important it is to keep the neighborhood clean. How's the vibe here today? It's going well. It's going well, man. When I do this, I'm happy doing this. I need the people around here to see what we're doing. You don't need to be from Newark to have to do this, to want to do this. Instead of depending on other people to do what we need to do for ourselves, we're just doing it ourselves. Thank you so much. So we here, MRTA, uh, the movement for the renaissance of the traditional Africa, of course. It's all about respecting Mother Earth again. So hey, what we do, it's simple. We walk around Newark, we see what is dirty, and we just clean. No question act. That's all we do. We trying to be accountable, and we think that we also have our part. So here's my team, and we've been doing this. We've been doing this for almost five months now, every Sunday. So if you see us, please next time, we want to see you doing with us. Again, it's the movement for the renaissance of the tradition of Africa. And one of the main uh, center value in those traditions is actually respecting Mother Earth. So, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's why we're here. 
I just wanted to do something that like actually has an impact. People are protesting and marching, and I've already been to so many like protests and marches. This is like the best form of like peaceful protesting, like just cleaning up like areas that like just need it. Cleanliness is close to godliness. Like, the way your community looks basically tells how you feel about yourself. So if you're not willing to cook, um, clean up your community, take care of your community, then I know you're not going to take care of yourself or take care of your people that look like you. Or you're the people in your community. So you have to start from somewhere. So I took my time to actually um, come out here and actually volunteer uh, support and uh, just get back to the community. It takes a lot of heart and gut to actually come out here and do it for free and say, hey, let's get a group of friends and let's just paint the streets. If these people can do it, including myself, so can you. You know, if you don't respect Mother Earth, I don't think, I don't see any any other things you can respect. That's all I know, and I'm happy to learn it. It's also to send a message out there that people should be more uh, watchful, you know, not to throw stuff on the ground, because these stuff are coming back to us, and they're gonna just harm us. So we need to also be mindful. Alright guys, so there you have it. Just want to say I had a great time hanging out at the AX, you know, taking my wife out there. I had a wonderful time spending time with my niece and actually getting to finish her project. If you guys stayed until the end, you saw, you know, I was participating in, I was participating with the MRTA, you know, a movement of the renaissance of the tradition of Africa. My boy Monty, you know, and the other crew members out there, they're doing a great job cleaning up the streets of Newark. And, you know, I figured it's time for me, you know, to go out there, volunteer and show my support. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Make sure you guys show some support and uh, check out my indoor plant shop on Etsy. Well, make sure to leave that comment down below. As for now, I'm going to get out of here. Peace, y'all. Till next time.